Yasas from Greece. and welcome back on the travel list. We are in Greece and to be concrete, we are in Halkidiki on the Halkidiki Peninsula and on the first leg, which is called Cassandra. We have had an amazing week here and we have been traveling around the whole leg of Cassandra searching for the best beaches, which we're going to show you in this beach guide. So stay tuned. <laughs> currently in sunny beach we just came and it's just amazing i mean it's a whole campground here because the sunny beach itself is the other way and it's a closed off area so you cannot go there if you're not um, a guest of the resort so this is uh, the campground i'm gonna write how it's called here the sea is just so turquoise blue it's perfect let me just show you actually what it's all about I couldn't wait any longer. I am going in the water. It's actually not that bad for the end of September. So that was a very nice swim, but there isn't much marine life. We only saw like one fish, but uh, yeah, still it's very beautiful. Now about the prices, uh, if you come here, uh, the sun beds and the umbrellas are not free of charge. In most places in Greece they are, but here they're not. I mean, you can see why. So this is line A, two sun beds and one umbrella is 20 euros. On the back line B it's 15 euro and line C which is like at the back back it's 10 euro however the prices here at the cafe at the beach bar are quite reasonable but yeah have that in mind that you will have to pay for umbrellas and some beds if not there's the free zone so you can go there as well God, you guys the best things always are undocumented we just went for an afternoon dive and i decided this time i won't bring the gopro with me because there was nothing interesting in the morning but we saw so many fishes they were like very big like like my arm long <laughs> like my arm and i saw for the first time ever a starfish it was so exciting for me it was so cool so we're going to leave Sunny Beach now and take you along to the next one.
Yasas everyone. So today we are at the Kriopigi beach and we are staying in front of the Alexander the Great Hotel. Uh, you can rent a pair of sunbeds and an umbrella for 15 euros but because today was so windy and most of the day it was cloudy we just like threw on a towel on the sand and we are staying on the sand. We already ate here uh, at the beach the water is magnificent it's very very blue there are a lot of fishes in the water but uh yeah so cool Okay guys, so behind the Alexander the Great there are a lot of very big trees so in the afternoon the shadow just hits the beach and you're not getting any sunlight so that's why we are heading towards the other side of the beach towards the other hotels because there there is still sun on the beach and it is quite windy today so it's cold as it is I'm going to show you that part of the beach as well. I think that that part of the beach is also the better one because there's plenty more space and the sand, the sand and the sea bottom are more soft. Okay guys, so it's very very pretty here. I do recommend that you come and visit this beach. I do hope that you will find better weather than we did because it was hell of a windy today. But still, it was a very very good beach and I liked it a lot. So let's go and explore the next one. Today, which is a strip of sand that's going into the water it's right next to the town or the village of Pasiri and as you can see from both sides we can see the sea and the sand is in the middle it's very pretty here however 
keep in mind that the sand is quite grainy, it's quite rough. The water, however, is super pretty, super blue. Even with the clouds, you can notice that it's super turquoise and it's very nice. Usually this beach is a free zone, so there are no sunbeds or umbrellas for rent. So you come with your own stuff, put on your umbrella and this is how you go to the beach here. But yeah, it's, it's quite amazing. very pretty here and if you would like actually uh, to get on an organized beach on both ways on this side and on this side of the city there are organized beaches where you can find umbrellas some beds cafes and yeah But definitely come to this beach it's amazing it's very beautiful and even in this bad weather there are a lot of people here enjoying <laughs> Kioni. It's actually our second time here. The first day when we arrived uh, in Cassandra, we came to this beach and it's a very cute small beach but there's plenty of space, there's free zone, there is also plenty of cafes and restaurants here on the beach where they put umbrellas and some beds and you can actually use them for free if you order something from the restaurants and yeah today it's a little bit of windy so i don't know if we're going in the water but still we're going to enjoy the sun and just sunbathe but as a whole the beach is very nice the sand is okay it's a little bit of grainy here and there but still it's not like all rocks so it's okay it is a bit wavy today but still i've seen a couple of people that already taken a swim um take in mind that it does get deep quite early so after a few meters you actually have water until you like your arms and your neck so have that in mind it's not very shallow water here but still it's it's very nice
okay guys so that was the beach here uh, it's very nice but it got a little bit too windy and a little bit too chilly for my taste so we're going back to the hotel now and tomorrow we're going to see the next one So today is our last day at Cassandra and we decided to spend it at the Golden Beach. It's very pretty, it's a very nice beach. The sand is awesome, it's soft, it's white, the water is very blue, it's very shallow so it's perfect for people that cannot swim very good, for families, for little kids, basically for everyone and there's a lot of fishes in the water so it's very pretty to go snorkeling and just to enjoy a day at the beach the beach bar here is very nice i really really like this place a lot I can tell you about the prices here there are a bit uh, higher than the other places but still it's worth it there's usually rent for some beds and umbrellas about four euro per person we didn't get charged today I don't know if it was because we did consume a lot of things from the bar or because it's the end of the season I cannot tell you but usually there's like a four euro uh, surcharge for a some bed and umbrella per person and then the prices at the bar are normal to high Should be one of the beaches probably top three of all beaches in Cassandra that you should visit because it's just amazing and I'm I really don't want to leave <laughs>
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you got some useful information from it. Now we're actually heading back to Bulgaria, but we are going to make a lot of other videos which are going to come up soon on my channel here on YouTube on the travel list. So make sure to subscribe for it. And if you want to get some additional information, you can check out my Instagram, which is linked below in the description for more photos and videos. See you next time. Oh, 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 oh,